for Bar Humbug Day, I got some money as a present, so I need to go out and spend it because it's literally burning a hole in my pocket. See? It's burning a hole in my pocket. Good morning guys, I hope you're all doing very well. Hi. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, I've had a bit of a rest. I didn't even do a Smegris last week. I just felt like I needed to rest. And, well, I found, sitting in this chair, especially, not yesterday, I think the day before, like, all day, hurts my back. <laughs> so, today, I'm wandering about and I'm not going to spend as much time there. The reason I spent so much time there is um, I've been catching up on YouTube and watching TV, but most importantly, I finished Batman Arkham Knight, like 100% finished it. I got all the Riddler trophies, did all the puzzles, I even faced him, which was quite difficult, and I'm already missing the game. But, talking of games, I've moved on to Halo, and I'm already on to level 3, and I'm remembering some of it. It's been a long time since I've played. But there is a button where you can switch from the new graphics because I'm playing the 10th anniversary version or you can just switch to the old graphics and it's just one button and, and so I keep toggling between them just to see what the difference is and the detail now is immaculate. <clears throat> you have to excuse my voice by the way I got a cold off my brother Philip I'm still coming out of it but going back to the games that's not the only one I've been playing. Last night I started something that I bought the other day Fallout 4 it was only £30 in Tesco's, it were on offer, so I bought it. However, I don't think it's as great as people are making out. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad game, it's it's a pretty good game, I'm into it, I'm, I'm on to level 4 now. But there's been glitches, for example, like I got into this town, I forgot what name it was, and the game just crashed, like it came out and went to the main menu and I'm like, what's going on here? went back into the game it was fine then and I've also noticed like when a character's going out of a door it's like he, he or she jump cuts out and it's like what the heck but I have to say some of the visuals are stunning but enough about games uh, Harley got some presents for Bar Humbug Day where one of them he destroyed within the first day this poor guy this lion look at that there's fluff everywhere and over here rascal anyhow I'm not saying anyway now. <laughs> Hold on, I just did. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm uh, I need, I'm going to go to. Sorry, I can't speak today. I'm going to Meadow Hall, spend some of my bar humbug money. Hopefully, I have an idea of what I want, but we'll see. And also, I need to go see Stacey because in there is um, a bar humbug present for a son. And also a birthday present for her. And the best thing about it is, we have this tradition where we keep giving each other this as the present. And there's a DVD in it, usually. This time I've decided to trick her. I doubt she'll let me film, but we'll see. If not, I'll explain afterwards, if I remember. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. Right, I'm getting hungry. I need to go to Meadowall. Hmm. Oh man, it's like Meadowall's been turned into Madder Hall. It's ridiculously full. Meh. I've just been in game. It's a lot busier now than it was before Bar Humbug Day. It's, it's just, like I say, it's absolutely mad in here. I've managed to spend a bit of money, but I can't see me staying here that much longer. It's absolutely crazy in here. Luckily there weren't much queue in HMV, but other places it's ridiculous. <sighs> I need to get out of here. Time for a bit of nom nom. Mm. Oh, I've had to come out of there. Ridiculous. It was mental. I've only spent maybe three quarters of my humbug money. So I think I'm just going to pop up to Meadowall Retail Park and see how mental it is up there. And see if there's anything I want to buy. I've actually wanting to get something but it's it's up in the air and no it's not the ipod but i've managed to stay away from dvds i've said that i'm on a ban and so i've stuck to that i've got far too many i actually got a box set for for humbug day <laughs> warehouse 13 the whole i think five seasons i've never seen it apparently it's a spin-off from eureka which is what i'm currently watching so that's added to the pile <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to 
go up to the retail park now. Doesn't look as bad. My famous last words. Yes, I'm on the floor, stop judging me. I'm in PC world. I'm looking at the thing that I'm thinking about getting. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting a new editing suite because the one I use is one that my brother gave me for free. And so, as you probably noticed, my quality of videoing on here isn't brilliant. Um, I mean, you could play in 720, but it still looks a bit grainy and not very clever. That noise is driving up the wall. So I'm thinking maybe if I bought one, a proper editing suite, I might be able to upscale my videos, make them look better. Because, I, as you know, I've been watching YouTube now on my TV, and every time I see one of my videos, I'll play like a minute of it or something just to see what it looks like, and it looks pretty much grainy, slightly pixelated, it's not, not brilliant. And so that's why I'm in here looking at editing suites. The thing is I just don't know which one to get, it's like this one is 60, whereas the one exactly the same except that says ultimate and that says ultra when you focus and it's 20 quid cheaper. And then there's this one which I'm assuming is similar to what I've got now but there's no price, so I don't know how much it is. Maybe I should just keep looking for now, just to see what there is, because I've got to also make sure that when I render the video, that it renders to the format that I'm used to. I like to keep all my files the same, more or less, so that I can like transfer and, you know. It gets complicated when you have too many different file formats, as I've discovered with word processing. Which one do I go for? I had an assistant come to me and I was talking to her about the different editing suites. The one that has no price tag was £60. She helped me best she could because she's not really that knowledgeable with editing suites. But um, I did ask her about if I was to purchase one, take it home, try it and find I don't like it or it's no good for what I want, will I be able to return it? And she said, well, there's a policy that if it's opened, and I'm like, right, I'll get you. So what I'm going to do is leave it for now. Uh, I've took photos of the three packages that I like the look of. And I'm going to see if there's any like YouTube videos or anything I can look at, you know, tutorials to see what there is. I'm sure there will be. And see how they work and if it's going to be beneficial for me. And if it is, I'll buy one of them. I don't know which one yet, but, you know. And then hopefully... I can get the quality of these videos better. <laughs> we shall see. Doesn't help the main channel though because that camera isn't HD. It is high quality, just not HD. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it'll make it better. I can make these videos better now because this camera's on its third setting. There is a higher setting where it's full HD. I think it's 1280 or something like that. But the problem is, the editing suite I've got now does not like that setting at all. It just does not want to know. It just will not play ball. <laughs> I've tried it before and I'm like, Ugh, curses. Which is why I've got it down to, I think, 1080. But I render in 720. Because I try rendering in 1080 and it, again, doesn't want to know. That's why I want to get a better editing suite because my guess is that I get a proper one and I buy one, it will work. Because, you know, my subscriptions are starting to get higher. I'm nearly at 200. Oh, uh, um, how? <laughs> and so I want to make my videos better quality for you guys. And, you know, they'll look good for me as well. You know, when I'm 20 years older and I'm looking back at the things I was getting up to, I'm like, mm, I was going shopping again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Right, I'm gonna go see Stacy now. What's happening here? Look, helicopters flying low. I think that's a, an ambulance one. Uh, it's like he's landing around back of there. Uh, I've got a feeling that my run to Stacy's might be cut short. She's not replied to my text yet. I've tried ringing and it went straight to voicemail. <laughs> so she might be asleep or something. Oh well. It's over there now. What's going on? He's 
following me. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but it's following me. Something's happening, isn't it? So Stacy was in, but she was in bed, like I said she were. But her partner, Tim, was there, so spent half an hour talking to him before she got out of bed. And <laughs> when I showed her the present, the DVD box, she was like, again? <laughs> and it was funny, uh, I'm like, maybe. And when she opened it up, what happened was I put a spare DVD case in with an envelope saying, ha ha, fooled you, and inside it was some money. <laughs> she uh, appreciated that. Uh, anyway. I'm now at Drake House because I need to get some pet food, but while I'm here, I thought I'd have a look in Smith's. What? I have an Xbox One now. I have to look at games. Home now, obviously. I didn't buy any games. I did get Harley's uh, dog food. By the way, I've not shown you the presents I've bought myself, which, by the way, I still haven't spent all of my humbug money. Anyway, I got the latest Florence and the Machine album for $4.99. And of course, I had to get the new Star Wars soundtrack. On Amazon, it's 15 quid. In HMV, only 10. So it was worth walking in there. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention about the helicopter. After I got to Stacy and Tim's house, it was gone. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. So I don't know what it was about. I don't know if it was the police chopper or like an ambulance chopper. I don't know what you call them. Air ambulance, that's it. <laughs> He's looking at me weird again. Only because I've left him on his own most of the day. It's no different than when I go to work. And he's had a strop, his bed's been moved and toys have been flipped. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else because I'm finishing the vlog now. And I have to go and uh, check on those uh, editing suites, see if they're any good. I don't know. What? What are you looking at me like that for? Tails wagging. He's waiting for me to end the video, that's what it is. <laughs> right, I'm going. I'll talk to you guys when I do. But until then, peace out. Ah, I got you on video. <laughs> Stop carrying mud all over me. Arr.